Google came out with new tables. So this is something you can start your Google Sheet with. Start with pre-built tables. You can create any things like event tasks, project tasks, content tracker, product prioritization, recruitment applications. There are a lot of examples here and templates. But if you're not starting with a new sheet, if you have a sheet already, here's three free tools that are going to make your Google Sheets better. And they're all Google Sheet add-ons that are absolutely free. You just go to add-ons, get add-ons to get them. The first one I'm going to show you is called Tiny Sheets. It's something I made myself, and it sounds really silly. But in order to create a one-by-one -one sheet, you have a few steps to go through. In this case, we only have one click. So we go up to extensions, tiny sheets, and we click create one by one sheet. But that's not all. That's not all that tiny sheets does. You can also create a one row sheet if you are adding information to your spreadsheet file. And okay, I want to create just the headers right now. And I don't want a thousand rows that I have to delete later. I'm going to add each row as, I, as it comes. Adding just a single row sheet is very helpful. Remember, if we create a new sheet, it has uh, 26 columns, it has a thousand rows, so we have to do something like shift command down and then delete all of these rows. But you don't have to do that with tiny sheets. With tiny sheets, you can also create a one column sheet uh, and that creates a literal one column sheet. And that's a little harder to do too. You just add a sheet, select the B column, shift command right arrow, you can select everything and delete those columns. But instead of doing that, we can use tiny sheets to do that. And we also, this is actually super helpful. If you have some data here, like I, we have a header, we have data, and we want to delete everything that doesn't have data in it over to the right and to the bottom, we can go to extensions, tiny sheets, delete rows and columns outside of the data, and there it is. In one click, it deletes everything. Tables is really good to start from scratch, but if you already have some data there and you're just trying to make your life a little better, tiny sheets is going to help you a lot. Again, go to add-ons, get add-ons, and then all you have to do is search for tiny sheets. I think you can even search for just the word tiny. Let's see, tiny, there's tiny sheets right away, but it's called tiny sheets. The other Google Sheet add-on I wanna show you today is sheet styles. Sheet styles is something, again, I created myself, and it offers you some pre-built templates, and all it's going to do is change the background color of your cells, the color of your font, and the style of your font. So it'll be, the font will be changed to Carla. Paper style, I use whenever I know I'm gonna be using either data entry or using a sheet for a very long time, like hours. I don't wanna get headaches when I have the high contrast white background and black text. So this paper style and also this papyrus style, a little bit darker, helps keep that data nice and neat, looks good, and also prevents headaches. Sometimes you want to know which rows are which, like you're literally doing data management. And so something like data style will give you alternate rows there. Dark style as well, if you want to just quickly add a black background and white text. And it does not change your text. It doesn't change the content of your cells. It just changes the style of your sheet. And that's it. Sheet styles also comes with some presets, but also you can customize it and save your custom style if you want. If you are creating buttons or even you want to highlight some text, there's a really cool thing you can do, which is essentially you need like a three by three set of cells to, we want, we want to make a button with a shadow. I've made it really easy with button styles. Again, I'll show you the sidebar again. Something I made myself because I was doing this a lot. I have some text for a link and we can do command K and say, Better Sheets Co. And then we can even edit the link and edit the text here. We can say Better Sheets. Let's add that again. Let's add a HTTP. We'll do Better Sheets Co. There. And we want to make this bold and stuff. But here we can go to preset. We're going to create a neon yellow button. And look at that. In one click, what it does is it merges these top four cells to the left. It creates a background little shadow essentially of this button and we can also do this for this one let's do neon blue let's do this again we just need to select a three by three set of cells and we create a retro brown one we also have custom styles if you want to create your own but this is really cool puts really interesting buttons into your sheets in essentially just a few clicks and drags and then a click over here on the sidebar 
prevents you from having to do too much to create these awesome buttons with this sort of background color on here. Again, I made button styles myself, bettersheets.co, and these are three free tools to make your Google Sheets better. They're all available in add-ons, get add-ons. We can look at, let's look for sheet styles. Just type in sheet styles, there it is. And then same with for button styles. There it is, button styles. You just have to click that, install it, totally free. We're not sending any information to outside your sheet. It's totally a script that exists just in your sheet and helps you make your Google Sheets better. Enjoy.